Welcome to Field Trip Friday, and this week we're at Laser Team Challenge for a little bit of a team bonding exercise. We're gonna take our team and actually split up into different teams, and go on some missions and see what we can do. Yeah, it's gonna get extreme, it's gonna get competitive, and uh, you're gonna like what you see. Listen, Scooby, y'all are going down. You're all going down, all right? Let's <laughs> all down. No, you're going down, you're going down. <laughs> Boom. Alpina's Laser Team Challenge is a family business that started in 2004. It's located in a 100-year-old building that holds events every Saturday, which lasts anywhere from three to six hours. This week, the building was at max capacity. Over 85 people were in attendance for our laser tag showdown. But as first-timers, we were required to go through a quick briefing on some rules and regulations. Welcome to Laser Team Challenge. I am Jim, I'll be your mission director today. I own the place as well. My job and the job of the other referees keep you safe and make sure you have fun as well. So everybody in one team will have a red headband. They will have a red muzzle flash. Everybody in the other team will have a green headband and they will have a green muzzle flash. There are three sensors on every gun, two that fasten to the front and back of the headband and one on the gun itself. Those are the only three places that matter. You shoot them anywhere else and will not register your hit. Have to shoot them in one of those three locations. Here's what happens when you get hit. When you get hit, the uh, light on your hat blinks for one second. For one second, you cannot shoot or be shot. Interrupts whatever you're going to be able to do. You can't reload, can't shoot uh, your gun either during that time. Hear the difference in that sound? Two hit points, that's what they're down to. One hit point. And that's what it sounds like when you're dead, all right. When you're dead, your hat lights up. Everybody else can see that you're dead. Your gun becomes non-responsive. Your screen lights up. It says dead at the bottom of your screen. At that point, you're gonna go back to one of these two medic boxes. This is the uh, box for the green team. That would be the box for the red team by process of elimination. There's a uh, large green button on the top of that. That's the button you're gonna press if you're dead. So you all ready for this? We were in store for a variety of games and team building exercises. As the largest building in the country that uses these guns indoors, Alpina is home to a unique experience, which we were excited to be a part of. But with competition being a theme on Field Trip Friday, we split up, but for once, we were on the same side. So it was half the group on the green team and the other on the red team. All newsroom disagreements were about to be settled right here and right now. Round one, team deathmatch. The rules are simple. If you die, then the sensor on your head turns bright red. You're then required to respawn at one of the health boxes in the building. I'm the go to war, boys. There's no chance. There's no chance. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Come on, 
there are three different levels of laser tag action. The basement offers a maze of office space. The second floor is an open area with a variety of portable barriers. Then the third floor has rooms and a large balcony overlooking the second floor, which meant there was plenty of space for all 80 people in attendance to go all out in combat. Be prepared for a workout because three hours of running is bound to get you sore. At the end of the day, the red team had won one and the green team had won another. So I guess we can call it a draw. Until next time. As you can see, there's still some chaos going on around us, but this has been an amazing experience. Yeah, I never, whoa, see that? That's Ulysses right there going in. It's a lot of fun over here, and if you ever are in Alpina, then I think it's a great idea for you to head out to Laser Tag. Absolutely, so be sure to join us next week for our next adventure. Let's go.